new about the new Mini. Yeah. Um, 100% is new. So everything from the front, right from the lighting, from the bumper bar, right the way back to the rear exhaust, to the rear bumper, 100% is new. You have nice soft touch feeling, like it's true with a BMW group. You have the IP dashboard, right across the front, which is soft touch as well. You have some very, very, very mini features, such as the disco lights, or the moon lighting inside of the car as well. We can change colour, we can have a full rainbow of colours. And the nice thing is, with the Cooper and Cooper S models, both models are now turbocharged. We have a three-cylinder Cooper model, which is a 1.5 turbocharged engine. And we have a two-litre turbocharged engine, which comes with Cooper S. And with the Cooper S, you get a lot of driver feedback. It's the go-kart feed, it's standard with Mini, and it's a true driver's car. I'll show you about this light as well. How it actually goes up when you run the car. What else? Okay, so the center console is, is the, the entertainment center of the car. So what we can do, we can use the, the, the patch down the center here, if we go back to the main menu. Uh, we can actually go through all of the settings on the car, settings of the, the sound system, the vehicle information, which will actually tell you about tire pressure right through to what needs to be changed and when it needs to be changed on the car. Uh, some of the other features on the side of there is Mini Connected. Mini Connected will pair your uh, smart device to the car so you can live stream music to the car you can answer your telephone calls you can read text messages you can play YouTube uh, videos you can use your all of these smart device uh, applications straight through the center console of the uh, of the car so all of the time you're 100% connected with your device you're 100% connected with the car 100% connected with your network as well on the center console now as well this used to be the speedometer on the old classic design of the mini now this is actually an intelligent smart light that will tell you if your phone is ringing. It will tell you if you need to change gear, if you're in the sport mode of the car. It will actually change when you rev the car differently. So at the moment at idle, it's sat down here and it will actually trace around when we press the accelerator. And let's go over here. Okay. Now in front of the driver, as well as the sport steering wheel that you have and the paddle shift, that you have all of the satellite controls for your sound system for your speaker system everything's integrated here you can tr control your mobile phone from here what's new for this mini is we actually have the speedometer uh -huh. mounted in the center whereas before it was on the center console the rev count is on this side as well so everything that the driver needs to see including the warning devices everything is right in front of you so if you're on for a dramatic drive, if you want to drive it as if you've stolen the car, you've got all of this information right in front of you. So if you're driving away for the go-kart feeling, all of the information's right in front of you, your focus is right in front of you, and with a big bright LED by xenon lights, you've got the whole road in front of you as well. So very, very clear information. What else do we need to know in this part? Okay, in this part's your climate control. This is fully digital now. So you can change the temperature digitally, and again, you get feedback from the light. So feedback so always you, like feedback. It will always tell you what you're doing with your car. So whether you're getting it hotter or whether you're getting it colder, it'll also tell you when you change the positioning of your fan setting. Or you can put it onto the auto settings, and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So again, up here, you've got the feedback to tell you where the position of the fans are. Inside of the centre here as well. You've got your air conditioning settings, so for the rear and front windows, you've got the automatic or manual and circulating air, air conditioning and the max AC. You've got some of the control and safety settings here, so you've got dynamic stability control on and off, and you've also got um, the steering assist on and off. You've also got the nuclear launch start and stop button, so you start and stop it just by the press of a big red button and again feedback comes right from there and again when we start it all very nice um, touch sensitive very nice and easy. everything's in front of you you don't need to reach for anything if it was a driver you can control all of your settings just down here you have a sport and a green mode for your uh, gearbox or for your engine so if you want to flip it across to sport it'll come up onto the top you're now driving in sport mode, bright red. 
you've got your go-kart setting and your little rocket. Okay. If you want to put it onto green mode, get your green yellow light on. Mid mode is set. And we've got a green mode, full green setting, low consumption, driving fun, and it's all about how much uh, energy you're going to save and all about how much fuel you're going to save. So it's it's only.